Hi, I'm Saskia and I'm here with Catherine Kuntz. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell me a bit about what it is that you do? Yes, so I'm Catherine Kuntz, I'm a composer and together with Sarah Grange I created Fleet Footing, which is a sonic walk or as we also call it an audio treasure hunt um, which charts the, the course of the River Fleet, which mainly runs underground now um, but it's fun to follow its course all the way from Hampstead to Blackfriars where it goes into the Thames. So out of all the subterranean rivers in London, why did you choose the Fleet? The fleet has quite a nice size in the sense that it's about 10 kilometers and you can walk the whole course. Um, it's also all inside the city, so it, it was quite a good one to, to start with, let's say. Um, initially, it was Sarah's idea to write a piece for choir, which would be sung on the steps on uh, St. Pancras Old Church. Um, where apparently you can hear the, the river fleet underneath. Um, but we went to sea and um, <laughs> we couldn't really hear enough of the fleet to make that work with the choir and then it developed into this walk. So what's it like actually walking the terrain? What are some of the things that you see or hear? When we went to see where this river flows, where it starts, where the source is and, and where you can see it, um, we had such a fun adventure that we wanted to send the audience into the terrain and, and really follow the same path, if you like, and dis discover the same things. And so you can um, see little signs of it here and there in um, the way the streets go, the bends, um, Kings, by King's Cross Station, for example, the whole station bends round and there's the Great Northern Hotel also which has a bend and, and that's where exactly where the river flows and the city somehow starts to make sense also with these bridges that go over streets now and it all makes sense once you know there's a river underneath and then you do hear and see it occasionally in, in um, gratings and I mean there's 17 listening stations and stations to pause on our walk and so you can sometimes smell it as well, it's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. So if the um, River Fleet was functioning today, um, what do you think London would be like? like or is there anything that we wouldn't have anymore because of the river? Um, well, there's a lot of streets going over over it now. Um, I, th I think it's been used as a sewage uh, for quite a long time, um, and the Victorians even built their toilets on on it. So, <laughs> and I'm not sure it's much different today. Um, so, I think London would be m more smelly <laughs> if it was uncovered. We can only imagine, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> So you say that the um, river, I read actually that the river has left some clues behind. Have you ever seen any of those clues and what were they? Yes, I mean in the, in the way that the, the streets are shaped, the houses even, uh, there's some street names of course like Fleet Street which is very uh, famous but then also Anglas Row or, or like, thing, like names where you it, they make sense once you know that there is a river nearby and um, as we see the city today, we, we're not aware of it, you know. We don't always know what's underneath our feet um, at all. And sometimes it's a tube and sometimes it's a river. And so um, it's a really nice way to reconnect with the city, to, to, to see how it actually was shaped and, and what made it the way it is today. Well, I guess now because you and Sarah, people will be able to experience that as well, which is really amazing. Yeah. So we're offering two walks in the company of, of us, of, of the artists, um, which is on the 5th and on the 27th of uh, September. And that is quite fun if you want to know more of the behind the scenes and some more stories. Um, otherwise, the walk can be done on your own or with family and friends anytime, um, just by downloading the material. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, Catherine. It was really great talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you.